channel so we are going to work on our second lesson on Fourier series which is um non sinusoidal function so i said on our last video we talked about sinusoidal function now um some people might be asking what is exactly what exactly is sinusoidal function and non sinusoidal function but it's um actually a very simple term but now i just came up with a simpler definition of sinusoidal and non sinusoidal function now a function is sinusoidal if it possesses a sine like curve now in our last video we treated sine like curves like something like this we treated something like this right now these are sine like curves the cosine the cosine function possesses this kind of curve a sine function also possesses this kind of curve so this we call it we call them sinusoidal curve sinusoidal curves and the function which possesses these curves are called sinusoidal function now non sinusoidal function are basically otherwise and if you see a curve that is not sinusoidal um for a curve that is not a sinusoidal curve then is a sinusoidal then is a non sinusoidal curve it is as simple as that then the functions are called non sinusoidal function now let's take an example then you understand what i mean now looking at this example of a non sinusoidal curve or graph now this sinusoidal curve or graph now this is what i call non sinusoidal curve or graph now look at this um, graph this is what i call they call a non sinusoidal curve is not like our normal sin wave sign wave like graph now this one we're having a, a square shaped graph now so now we're going to be looking for your periods or your period of oscillation when you are given this type of graph or when you are given a non sinusoidal function now if you look at this it's very easy to find my period of oscillation but first who can tell me my amplitude now if you like i said if you look now this the formula i gave on our last video only works for non sinusoidal graphs the formula i gave on our last video only works for non sinusoidal graphs now so sorry only works for sinusoidal function now if you look at this now we can denote we can actually denote our periods now i said the period is when when it is the space between the starting point and another starting point now if you look at this now let's say this this graph moves from this started from here from zero right and moves and this is another starting point right or you can say it started from here and move and this is another starting point so just the space now between two starting points on a periodic graph that's your period of oscillation so i can choose my starting point from here to here or i can say it starts from here and moves and also and starts from here again and moves and starts from here again so you get so the space between two starting points i call it my period now this is my period now for example this graph is plotted um against minutes a millisecond so now i can say my period which is the space from 0 to 8 is equal to 8 millisecond as easy as that now let's take another non sinusoidal um, periodic graph or non sinusoidal periodic graph yeah let's take another example now before we look at this example now we mix we missed something from our last example now we we didn't actually if you know the, the amplitude so now the amplitude is very easy to denote from here like i said it's the peak of your graph so if you look at this from here to here this is my amplitude and it's actually constant throughout the graph now you might be faced with a non sinusoidal graph in which the amplitude is actually not constant so but in this case now the amplitude is, is constant throughout the graph so you can if i decide to draw a straight line you see that all this merges with four so i can say my amplitude a is four now looking at this second example before us now let's denote our periodic function from this example now if you look at this now this is my starting point right then it moves the wave moves it moves it moves this is another starting point now this where how you can know your starting point the point the the portion of your graph that starts from zero now if you look at this 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 left hand portion of my triangle started from zero now where can i find this left hand left hand portion again on my graph which is this point here you get now so this is from my starting point and this is another starting point so the space between my starting point i call it my period so from this now my period is six in a second and my amplitude which is also constant throughout the graph a is three 
as easy as that so now on our next video we are going to be looking at um how to analyze periodic function now in this in this video we are, i'm going to be we're going to be doing some analysis on how we can easily express periodic function on the most simpler term so thank you guys for watching and see you on the next video